This is the MSI automation mobile induction heater. It is used for a variety of applications, uh, one of which is for bolt heating. And I'll go through a procedure showing how the unit is turned on and some of the functions. This is the main breaker. Turn that on. And we have a key. Turn that on. Goes through a lamp test. And turn on the fan. Cooling fan, it's 19,000 BTUs. This is the pump. It's a three quarter horsepower water pump. Over here you have uh, power control. Down below you have a uh, tap switch. Uh, we use position one for a long uh, induction, uh, induction heating coils, also called inductors. So we put position two for the smaller ones. You can control the power from the uh, panel right here. Well, we're going to go over and demonstrate how it can heat a bulb. Okay, okay this is the um, hand unit. It weighs about uh, five to six kilos has two handles, has a power switch, has an LED, it has a, a quick disconnect knob so you can remove the heating coil uh, very easily which is oftentimes very convenient uh, when you're doing a large number of bolts. So I'm going to walk over to the machine and turn, over, turn on the um, fan and the pump. Now the cooling system is on. I'm going to flip the switch here, turn on the heat. And now we're heating. As you can see the temperature is rising up. I'm going to walk back to the um, unit and show you how you can adjust the power. cable between the hand unit and the power supply is 10 meters long. Uh, the cable is water cooled. In this case the inductor or the heating coil is uh, 36, 36 inches long or almost one meter long so we're heating a fairly large section. You can, you can scan down. We're heating about that much.
also have a laser temperature sensor. This is the outside temperature. And I don't know which one is more accurate. I'm reading higher temperature. Can you see the laser? Can you see the meter? Can you see the meter value? I don't know which one's more accurate. I'm measuring, oh, that's Fahrenheit. Okay, now we're in centigrade. So we got 100, 150 on the outside, 200 on the inside. I'm going to turn it off here. I'm going to walk back to the machine and turn the pump and the chiller off. And I'll turn the system off. Turn the breaker off. And remove the key. The key is only so that unauthorized people can't use the machine. And as you can see, there's plenty of storage space on top of the machine for extra uh, heating coils and for uh, cables, etc. That's pretty much it.